this is the road that is filling up with water this quickly. The tide's coming in. So this is the area, like right where Nick is, is where we were parked yesterday. And if you just go a little bit this way, you can see the water. And if we keep going, there's more water. And then if we look down, I'm gonna show you the puddle. So we thought this puddle was rainwater because it did rain yesterday. But there is a pretty decent stream coming in there. And that is from the tide. So we would have been okay. We would have been fine for now, but I mean, we're still an hour and a half from high tide. Yeah, so I'm not convinced that it wouldn't fill up all the way. <laughs> yeah. I'm just glad that it's, you know, not the case that we're underwater right now. Because, like, even if we were still parked here right now, we'd be okay. So, like, we took a chance, we moved, we're fine. But that puddle there is filling up, like, there's just, there's ripples in it. It's filling up quite fast, and we're probably six inches higher than that. So, like, there's a lot of land that would have to flood for the water to come up six inches, but... Uh, not that much. It's an hour and a half <laughs> from high tide. I don't know how big these tides are, but back home, our tides are big. They're the biggest in the world. So we're used to seeing like huge fluctuations in the ocean when the tide comes in and out. So I wouldn't take this chance at home, that's for sure. So no need to take it here. We're, we did it last night. We're 6,500 kilometers from home, a 59 hour drive. Yeah, yeah, we're far. All right. Where are we going? Going to town. We're going to get some water and we're going to see if we can't book tomorrow's adventure. Yep. Very good. So, whale watching tour with Mario. Is that his name? Mario? It's Mario. I'm Mario. assuming they better have a guy named Mario there. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. We'll find out, I guess. All right. But, uh, let's do it. Off we go. Well, we made it to Mario's tour. We're gonna go see if we can book a spot for tomorrow morning. Okay, we are all booked for tomorrow morning at 8 a.m. to go whale watching. And now we're gonna go into Guerrero Negro and get some groceries and probably fill up with water and just like walk around the town a little bit, probably. It's a really nice day. And we didn't really explore the town last time we were here, so. That is the current plan. Yeah, we are as well. The car. This is the old dump. Zoom in there. Uh, okay. Like where Guero Negro is actually that pinned is on the map. It's actually nice. Zoom in oh, and click on one. it. Like click on it. It has really good reviews and it looks pretty. Look at the pictures. It's got like we could get some street palm food. trees. And yeah, there's probably some street food and stuff like that around there. Okay. It looks like a nice little park. So it'd be cool to yeah. go walk around there maybe that looks at the center. Yeah, sure. let's do it. Look at them all on that tree. We are at the Parque Central in Guero Negro. We're just walking around. There's a gray whale skeleton, which is kind of cool because we're going to go on a gray whale tour tomorrow, whale watching tour. And yeah. Got some groceries, got some fish tacos, and that's about it. <laughs> and there's parakeets. And then there's one right there. Yeah, I know. There's a little parakeet in there with the vultures. He just doesn't care. I don't know if you can even see him or not, but he's there. And then there's all these vultures just watching. like silos at uh, this place and we are going to park on them. So here comes the snake. Um, if you 
want, you can. We are quite literally parked at the end of the rainbow. But look at that. It's like, you can't quite get the whole thing in frame. That is a full rainbow. And like, I've never seen the end of a rainbow. The end of that rainbow, right there. Right there, that's insane. Both ends are right there. Holy sh isn't it? It's raining. I just had my head stuck out. and Anyway, my ear's quite cold now. Um, it's raining and it's windy and we're out here on this pillar, which is super, super cool. We got some really cool photos. Um, however, it's not necessarily the place we want to stay tonight because it's just the van's rocking, the tide's going to come up, and we're thinking that there's going to be some sea spray that comes off just because like it's going to hit this and kind of create sea spray. Mm -hmm. But anyway, we're going to move the van. We're not going to move it too far. We're just going to move it over to the other side of the lighthouse there. We drove by another spot that was marked on my overlander, but uh, yeah. Off cool. we go. Cool while it lasted. <laughs> <laughs> morning we are going whale watching today so we're gonna do the probably roughly 30 ish drive back into town here we're currently out by the lighthouse and uh yes yeah, so we're gonna go back into town go back to mario's place that's where we're gonna get the whale tour from and go from there we're gonna be out there observing some whales in the next few hours it should be pretty cool it's about a four hour trip it should be an interesting day the first kind of adventure of the trip here so it's technically 6.14. 5.14, look how early it is. No. <laughs> it does matter. She says that it's not 5.14. However, if you look at a line Good here. Morning. Oh! If you look at a line here, we are about a five minute drive Good from morning. the north side of the Baja Peninsula, which time zone is an hour later, so they're on Pacific time, we're traveling in the mountain time, we're on the time zone. So it is 5.15. Yeah. How you feeling back? I'm excited. Looking good. <laughs> I think we're going as well.
<laughs> so they're definitely mating. Well, now we know. <laughs>